my name is Tiffany Hurd and welcome to my YouTube channel where in the herd is Tiffany you heard me I may look calm but I was so scared before this flight talk about flight anxiety so as an avid traveler I think most people assume that I am okay with traveling and I don't ever get anxiety or anything like that um, well to be honest I actually do not like flying um, but I have no choice to fly to get to some of my destinations especially if they are way across the world um, so although I don't exactly have anxiety I do understand that there are lots of people that do have flight anxiety um, so there are various reasons as to why people have flight anxiety. Um, so one of the reasons can be um, simply because they've had a previous bad experience. Um, another reason is our 9-11 tragedy. That was such a horrific incident where planes literally were hijacked and crashed. So that's a valid concern. Um, we also have people that may have pre-existing conditions, meaning maybe they already have anxiety. So flying just kind of puts them over the edge. Um, or we may just have people may be just afraid of the plane crashing. Unfortunately, sometimes these thoughts of bad things coming into your mind can occur. Um, so um, all of the above reasons that I mentioned are very valid of why people have flight anxiety. Do you have flight anxiety? So having flight anxiety is very normal and is actually very common. Um, and when we're looking at solving problems, I think the first step that you have to do is you have to acknowledge that you have an issue. And then we can move forth and to try to solve the problem. <laughs> 20 ways where you can cope with flying anxiety. Here we go. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. One coping uh, mechanism is arrive early to the airport. Um, so I'm, I'm going to put this out about myself. Do not be like me. Um, I often arrive late to the airport and I'm always like, oh my God, I hope I can get on my plane, which is can be very stressful. If you are taking a domestic flight, make sure you are two hours in advance. And if you are taking an international flight, make sure that you are there three hours in advance. Um, so once you get checked in, once you go through the security gate, once you get to your gate, you just feel like a calmness come over you because now you feel like I've actually made it inside and everything is done. And so once you feel like, okay, you have enough time to spare, um, you can go check out um, a restaurant, you can get some snacks, you can go um, peruse the book out. You can just kind of relax and feel calm before your flight. Number two is alcoholic beverages. So I personally do not consume alcohol, but all of my friends that I speak to say that drinking alcohol before a flight actually like kind of eases their nerves and gives them more courage to fly. Um, they also say that sometimes it puts them to sleep or it just makes them feel like just that they can take on the world or that they can take on the flight. Number three. Number three is a buddy system. So you say, what is a buddy system? So the buddy system is basically who's ever sitting next to you. So I understand that not everybody wants to hold a conversation, but some people are very open to having conversations on the plane. And I always say, you never know who you're gonna meet. You never know what conversations you're gonna spark up. You never know what networking opportunities can come of it. 
and you never know you may just find your spouse um i've definitely heard of stories of people meeting on the plane um so although you may not be looking for a spouse that could definitely be a bonus and also you can tell them about your flight anxiety and say hey you know if anything goes down you know would you be willing to help calm me down or talk to me to distract me um if there's if i get nervous or anxious about anything okay <laughs> Number four, create a music playlist. So if you already know, music evokes different types of emotions. You already know if you want to listen to some jazz music, um, it's very calm, has the musical instruments going on. If you want to listen to some mellow music, maybe some old R&B songs or some neo soul, maybe some Jill Scott. Um, if you want to listen to some gospel tunes, um, my artist go-to on Pandora right now is Travis Green. Um, if you want to go hyphy or create a ratchet playlist go ahead and do that you know it's all about the hot girl summer right now um so just create that playlist that will evoke like a lot of different emotions um so i currently use pandora but you can also use um something like spotify to download your music um, so it is to be noted that some planes do have uh, uh, music in their in-flight entertainment, but some of the music is not really good. So I would advise that you create your own playlist in advance. Number five is errands. So I know that sounds crazy, like what does errands have to do with uh, flying? So for me, before a flight, I always run a lot of errands. I gotta go to the store, I gotta pick up uh, toiletries, medicine, different things like that. But I feel like I am so tired and wore like I just go to sleep. Um, so again, normally I would say get a good night's rest before a flight. Um, but I also say if running errands tires you out and you want to sleep on the plane, that's another alternative as well. Okay. <laughs> oils so essential oils you can purchase them or you can actually make them on your own um so a lot of um flavors like peppermint or lavender are really good they have like healing properties and they calm you down and you can place them like on on your temple behind your ears on your wrist so there's various places that you can place essential oils that will help you feel calm throughout the flight if you want to meet the flight crew um the people that you should be looking for is the pilot so when you first get on a plane you notice that the pilot is there he's saying hello you can actually talk to the pilot and say hey i'm very nervous about flying can you show me the cockpit um and more than likely they will be willing to show you the cockpit to show you how the aircraft actually works um, so that may help you feel calm as well. Also, make eye contact with your flight attendants. Let them know like, hey, I'm feeling nervous. They'll probably check on you throughout the flight. Also, people have been known to create little goodie bags for the flight attendants. So it can be something very cheap and very minimal, maybe like some hand sanitizer, some chocolates, or even just like a handwritten note telling them how much you appreciate the service on the flight. And I guarantee you, well, I can't really guarantee, but most people say that they've been treated very well by the flight attendants after receiving these uh, goodie bags. So that's a, definitely an option that you can try. Flight itinerary. So what is that? Well, when you think of flight itinerary, you think of, oh, where I'm flying to and from. Um, but what I mean by flight itinerary, I have a friend named Joanna, and she told me what she does is she creates this itinerary before she gets on the plane. So if she has a three-hour flight, she will say, okay, for 15 minutes, I'm going to read. For 15 minutes, I'm going to um, play my songs. And for two hours, I'm going to watch a movie. 
um, and then I'm gonna repeat this all over until the flight is finished so I thought that that was like a cool idea to keep your mind preoccupied and some people need schedules and so when you have a schedule sometimes that makes things run a little bit smoother. Make sure you eat before you get on a flight, especially if there's a long flight um, or especially if there's like a five hour flight. We all know airlines used to provide like food or like good snacks. Yeah, those days are kind of long gone unless you have an international flight. Um, so I would say make sure you eat something before you get to the airport because the food is kind of expensive there. But let's say you didn't have time, go ahead and eat at the airport because there are some great restaurants at the airport. Um, just know that you're going to pay a little bit more money for them. I will also suggest bringing your own snacks. So let's say, Lord forbid, that your plane is delayed like on the ramp or something like that and you need snacks so again remember the airline is providing like pretzels and like nuts and like crackers nothing to really sustain you right um so i would say pack like an energy bar like beef jerky like crackers like cheese just so just in case of anything happens you will have some snacks on hand <sighs> Inhalers. So I know that sounds weird. What does inhaler have to do with flight anxiety? So some people get shortness of breath depending on what the situation is. So if you have a prescription for inhaler, go ahead and bring the inhaler with you. I'll know it gives you a couple puffs of the inhaler and it actually will help control your breathing. meditation so when i used to work with um pregnant with african-american pregnant women we would do meditation before each class started and our meditation really consisted of this app called the calm app and so it would play like sounds of rain or different things like that so that very calming music and it will also give you instructions on like different types of breathing techniques so sometimes we may have to count to 50 to calm ourselves down we may have to count to 100 so meditate prior to the flight or if you feel like there's turbulence you may have to start meditating in that moment lord i thank you for waking me up this morning and i thank you for a wonderful and safe flight some people that are not religious or not spiritual and don't believe in prayer will um if that's your belief hey um but my belief is that prayer like actually really calms me down so prior to a flight um if i'm at church the sunday before i will make sure i go up um in church and get prayer specifically for a safe flight and let's say i can't get to church or let's say you don't even go to church you can always pray on your own you can pray prior to the flight takes off you can pray when there's turbulence and you can say a prayer of thankfulness once the flight lands prescription medication is something that is prescribed to you by your doctor so some people that have anxiety are provided xanax um, and so you can't get that over the counter you must go to your doctor and let them know what's going on so that they can provide this for you um, if you don't want to go to the doctor you can't get a prescription some people have used have used Benadryl and so Benadryl makes you sleepy so you can try that as an alternative as well I can't say what will work best for you but I always say refer to your doctor when it comes to any types of medications um, but I also talked about alcoholic beverages in the beginning so do not mix your medication with any type of alcoholic beverages read a book so for me i absolutely love to read but sometimes there's a lot going on in life and sometimes you just don't literally have the time to sit down and read a book so this is a great time to catch up on a book that you've been wanting to read before each trip i try to make a um a visit to the library um and i get like one or two books for the trip so i'm still old-fashioned and i love to feel um, the books turning in my hand, but some people say I don't want to deal with that. That's taking a space in my luggage 
I'm just gonna use an ebook. So go ahead and download whatever book you've been wanting to use and read it on your ebook and download two to three books depending on how long your flight is. Um, I think it's a great way to actually pass time. And I feel like when you read books, it actually puts you in a whole nother world. Like, I don't have to think about Tiffany anymore. I could think about Nicole and her life with her boyfriend, Derek, in this book that I'm reading about lovers and friends, right? Um, so I just love the fact that you can kind of escape while reading this it. This is your flight attendant, Tiffany Her. Please make sure that your seat back is in the upright position, your tray table is closed, and your seat belt is fastened. I fly so much, I don't pay attention to safety information, but I'm going to have to really start paying attention because if there was an emergency, I really want to know what's going on. So the safety information is telling you how to use your oxygen tank that comes from above. Trust that the airlines know what they're doing. They, it is actually safer to fly in an airplane than to drive a car. So definitely keep that in mind when you're thinking about, oh my God, the um, airplane can crash. Think about how safe flying really is. arrangement so think about where you want to sit at so are you a owl person are you a window person are you a middle person personally i prefer the window seat because i love being in control of the shade um that that little shade that opens up the window and closes um i also love the window seat because i like to go to sleep y'all if y'all haven't realized i mentioned it early i fall asleep on the wall near the window so that's why i want the window seat right but you may prefer an owl seat maybe you always have to go to the bathroom or maybe you feel comfortable being between two people in that middle seat so you have to figure out what makes you most comfortable also would you rather be in the front of the plane or the back of the plane so they say that it's better to be in the front of the plane when it comes to turbulence because you can't feel it as much. Um, I never really tried the theory or tested the theory to see if it was better in the front or the back. I just know I want a, a window seat. So find out what makes you most comfortable. <laughs> have anxiety most people do have a therapist and so before your flight let your therapist know during that session hey I'm about to fly what techniques do you have that can help me with this flight so I know a lot of therapists use the CBT method which is the cognitive behavior therapy approach so it helps you change your patterns of thinking in order to change the way that you feel so i don't know what technique your therapist is going to use with you but i'm pretty sure they have tips and techniques techniques to help you out with your flight anxiety you have to change those negative thoughts into positive thoughts I think the power of thoughts is like super, super powerful, right? So instead of saying, oh my God, the plane might crash or something may go wrong this flight, you have to say, I will have a wonderful flight, the flight will be safe, and I will be super happy to land. on your tablet download it from netflix or whatever uh whatever device you use um also some of the airplanes have in-flight entertainment as i mentioned before and they have some awesome movies i have been able to catch up on movies that have been released in a movie theater that i just hadn't had time to go see but on the plane i was able to catch up on those movies and so i was super super excited for that in-flight entertainment um, so yeah, so those are different ways to cope with anxiety. This is an anxiety kit. So an anxiety kit is basically things that you would bring with you on the airplane. So number one, I would say noise canceling earphones. So sometimes you are going to have screaming babies. Sometimes you may have people that just like don't go to sleep and are just talking the entire time. Um, you may have somebody that is snoring in the back of the plane that is so loud that you can hear them in the front of the plane. And also it just allows for peaceful sleep. So don't forget those noise canceling headphones. 
Um, also bring wipes. Okay, so you said, why do we bring wipes? If you didn't know, the airplane is one of the dirtiest places ever. Um, so make sure when you have your wipes, you wipe down the tray table, the armrest, the headrest. Um, if you're in the window seat like me, wipe off that um, the window panel because other people are laying their head there as well. So just do a little wipe down before you sit in the seat. Um, oh, also don't forget the seat belts as well. Um, always make sure that you have a pen with you, especially if you're on an international flight, you are going to have to fill out a form of customs. And you don't want to have to ask them, like, can I borrow your pen, blah, blah, blah. So make sure you have a pen. It seems like so small, but it's very important. Um, also, activities such as like a journal. Are you, do you want to write down your thoughts? Um, do you want to write a poem? So just bring some pen and some paper to write things down. And also, the adult coloring books are a really big thing. They're very common. Bring you a coloring book and some colored pencils or some crayons, and it'll keep you preoccupied for a while. Um, if you have any medications, please do not forget to pack your medications. Um, if you're traveling in the U.S., you may be able to get the medication somewhere like at CVS, but if not, you want to make sure that you have those because it can be difficult to try to call your doctor and try to get a prescription or the doctor's office may not be available in the other state that you're going to. Also, your phone chargers. We all are using our phones, so make sure you get your phone charger. Um, some airlines have USB ports or they have regular outlets where you can charge the phone. Um, we talked about essential oils, bring your snacks, and bring a face mask so you can just simply sleep in comfort, you don't have any bags under, anything like that. Well, this video may be a little bit long, but is explaining different ways that you can overcome your flight anxiety because I want you guys to hop on that plane, pick a destination, and live your best lives. So I hope this video helps somebody out. And this video is specifically for my friend Elaine who requested this video, um, but I know that it can help other people fly as well.